Hey everybody, today I'm going to do a an impromptu review of UFIT gyms. Uh, I am in Florida. I don't know where else they are located. I at first only heard of them when moving to Florida. I'm sure there are in other states, but that I don't know. Uh, when I moved to Florida, I was in West Palm, West Palm Beach. Tried out a couple of gyms when I first moved, but I was attracted to UFIT. I liked, at that location in West Palm, being that Florida is sunny all the time, most of the time, that the way it was designed, the sun, you came in, the windows were up top, like they weren't huge windows, and that there were some larger windows and it was nice um i like the design i've seen other videos about ufit where they did not like it but i liked it the the purple and green all over the place and they recycled the floors were made out of recycled recycled tires and you know the the when you wash your hands the paper towels they recycle all the paper and all that stuff and i liked it and um, pretty quickly, I got to notice that the a lot of the treadmills, I do the treadmills, don't do the bicycles, ellipticals, nothing like that, but a lot of the treadmills needed uh, repair, they were never done, never got fixed, a complete lack of common courtesy among the members, no one wipes their machines. People would, what I noticed a lot also was, and I find it kind of goes against common courtesy, there were plenty of treadmills. And when they were working, there could have been 25 treadmills. And I didn't use ellipticals or anything like that. But how quickly someone took the one right next to me when there were 23 other ones open. So people cramping on top of each other and not leaving personal space. Nobody would wipe down their machines when they're done. And I moved down to Florida in January 2020. And it's like I made it just in time before COVID. And then people still, like they had heightened whatever you want to call it, awareness of white, and there, the gym had the rules, they followed, I guess it was the CDC, you had to have a towel, which this is the CDC, not the gym, but I don't know what the towel does, you just carry it on your shoulder, no one still wiping down their machines, crowds of people, and they come, I could be, there could be 25 treadmills, I'm on one, and take the one right next to me. Like, I see that as the movie theater. If you're the one person in a movie theater and somebody came and sat right next to you, wouldn't you be like, dude, what are you doing? There's a million other seats open. Um, and it was the same in the men's room. There were three urinals, and I'd go to the one on the end, and, you know, I'd take the end one. You know, you leave the space. It was a lack of common courtesy, nobody cleaning their machines. But a couple of months into my year at that, I lived in West Palm for 13 months. So... Pretty quickly, the machines stopped working. They never got repaired. No one cleans their machines. People on top of each other. No one re-racking their weights. And I found it really annoying. Like, how can people have no courtesy for other people? And people, oh my God, we have COVID and we have to be careful. People are still in there coughing all over each other and not cleaning up after themselves. And I didn't say anything to the manager or put signs up, nothing like that. And I've worked in gyms as a personal trainer. And it's what you do. It's you clean up after yourself. Um, and that's something, even if the gym didn't push it, I would say, listen, when I'm training people, like, listen, we're gonna clean up, we're gonna put your weights back, we're gonna clean up, and we're gonna wipe it down. But then I moved to Boynton Beach. And there is also a UFIT in Boynton Beach. And now here's where the big problems come in. Um, that when I would go, like, there was more 
there were more treadmills. Again, I just that's just my focus. I, I don't notice the ellipticals or anything like that. But the common courtesy is you leave space. If the, now the one in the the U fit in Boynton Beach, forty treadmills. It was a bigger location, so say there are forty treadmills. Let alone bicycles, ellipticals, the weights, whatever else it was. Jai, uh, my focus the treadmills. I could be the only person on a treadmill, and say there are forty of them. Big location, pretty decent sized location. And somebody comes right next to me. Um, like, what are you doing? That's not common courtesy. You don't do that to people. You don't crowd up on top of people in such a large gym. It's just, you don't do it. Think if you are a gym rat, you're going to the gym and somebody's on the bench press they're laying there, laying on their back, they're doing whatever it is, and you stand right next to them while you do your bicep curls. Like, what are you doing? F plenty of room, find your own space. This happened frequently. And something I noticed also was that Harry, which I moved down here at the beginning of when COVID happened, I would purposely put my towel, which serves no purpose, again, that's not the gym, that's the CDC. I would purposely put my, I could have been on 40 treadmills and there are three people spread out on treadmills. So I would put my towel and my keys on the next treadmill as a hint hint, like dude, there's, if it's crowded and it's, it's six o'clock on, on mo uh, Monday evening, yeah, it's going to be crowded. You you need the tread the the treadmills. They're all going to be full. That's another story. When I go at ten o'clock on a Tuesday morning, and that no one's there, so I would put my keys and the towel on the next treadmill. Next thing I know, people are getting complaints that they can't use the treadmill right next to me when there's thirty eight other treadmills open. The problem was not, apparently, not that they couldn't use the, they couldn't, the, the CDC said you had, to, you know, six feet and uh, um, at least at the gyms, the, the, the gym had to cut off every other treadmill. So there was treadmill off, treadmill off, so there would be space between the people. Um, but people would then go complain that they couldn't use the treadmill right next to me when there's 38 other treadmills open. That's complete rudeness, lack of common courtesy. And then it's not the problem, it's not their stupidity. It's the problem that I put my stuff on the empty treadmill so they couldn't use the one directly next to me. Um, happened frequently complaints that, not that they're being rude. Like I say in the bed, you know, when there's, you don't use the one right next to somebody. Or in the movie theater, you, you're the only person in the movie theater and somebody sits right next to you. Aren't you going to say, what are you doing? There's plenty of other tra uh, seats open? Same idea. It could be the only one. But the complaint is that I put my stuff on the treadmill next to me. So this is the one in Boynton Beach now. Not the one in West Palm where the machines didn't work. Uh, again, no one cleaned up after themselves. The rudeness of the people at um, West Palm. Um, but now people start to complain that I put my stuff on, at first when I first went, they did cut the, the, every other treadmill off, the, the power, um, complaints on the off treadmill that my keys were there, it's that I put my stuff there, not that they were crowding up and had a complete lack of common courtesy. Um, and I just made the occasional... Internally, it drove me nuts. But here's the, the next one. But outwardly, I, I know maybe I have a bigger passion for it. Maybe other people care less. But nobody wipes down their machines. Nobody. Coughing all over, you know, um, and, and nobody cleans up their treadmills. Um, 
that I'm doing this, this, I didn't write any of this down. This is like an impromptu video. Um, but there is a next thing. There is a phenomenon in Florida about I would wear, I had my one, well, one, let me introduce. I wear hats, um, partially because I like to, and partially because I get migraines. Very bad. If you've gotten a migraine, you probably understand that, for, well, Florida is called the Sunshine State, but you probably understand if you get migraines that the light, it's, it can be blinding, and even more so in Florida where it's 80% of the time it's sunny out. Um, you know, so I we have to wear a hat, sunglasses. I have to have it with me, like I have to have my car keys with me when I go out. Have to have my my leaving routine is um, is I gotta have wallet, keys, cell phone, hat, and glasses. I think more of the wallet, keys, cell phone, but I have to have a hat and sunglasses. So there is this phenomenon in Florida that. Everybody has to comment and insert, and I'm going to tell you a true story. What uh, a reason it drives me nuts. Um, I would wear my Giants hat to the uh, visor, my Giant uh, visor. I didn't care; it was just a, 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 a hat. Uh, sweating on the treadmill stops the sweat from coming into the eyes. True story. May God strike me dead if this story is a lie. May he strike me with lightning right now if this story is a lie. November, last year, I am driving on a main road. I am at an intersection of two main roads in Boynton Beach. And I'm sitting at a red light, just wait for, you know, it's not very long. Guy gets out of his car, guy next to me, gets out of his car, while my windows are open and start screaming at me. You giant suck and this and that. Why would you wear that hat in front of me? And you're doing this to piss me off. I said, you know what, sir? That's exactly what I did. God told me I was going to meet you today and told me to wear this hat just to piss you off. That's exactly what happened. What is wrong with you? Get out of my car. He leaned into my car. This is Florida. So I was talking to somebody about it. I'm like, dude, the fact that people are nuts is none of my concern. None of my concern. Keep your, your, your stuff to yourself. I didn't ask your opinion. I'm not gonna go lose my stuff and say, you're wearing a red shirt or how do you wear that in front of me? This is Florida. Um, I've heard other stories, not like that with a hat, but you see uh, how not known in Florida. But one of the trainers at the UFIT in Boynton Beach, same thing. His name is Kevin. And I found out later, I didn't know what it was. But I never really cared to know what it was. Um, and you know, take that piece of shit hat off. What? Do you, this is somebody who works at the gym. Take that piece of shit hat off. Get, the, get that fucking thing off. I'm like, dude, are you serious? This is somebody who works at the gym doing this. I should beat your ass for wearing that hat. And it made me uncomfortable. And I'm like, I instantly snap back. I'm like, dude, I didn't ask your opinion. I, what I do is I would watch the TV. Um, I'd have my headphones because I find the treadmill honestly so boring, but I have to do it. Good, no, you know. Headphones in, I don't talk to a single person there. I go to the gym, I get on the treadmill, and I go home. And. Read that fucking hat off. What are you doing? I'm like, dude, are you serious? What is. Who? He goes, dude, it was a joke. Take that fucking hat off. I'm like, what is your name? And he continued, and he walked away. And 
I didn't say anything at first. And every Sunday. And then it was, you stupid motherfucker, take that fucking hat off. Your giant suck, get the fuck out of here. This is Kevin every Sunday at Boynton Beach. And I'm like, dude, seriously? And I said, I'm like, dude, shut up. I did not ask your opinion. I do not care what you think of, of what I'm wearing. I am not here to please you. Shut the fuck up, white. He's black. I didn't say that because I, well, now I, I think it might matter, but I didn't think it when I initially said it. Black. You white motherfucker, take that fucking hat off. And I still didn't say anything to the manager. And um, I'm like, seriously, dude, stop commenting on what I'm wearing. Stop. He's like, shut up. It was a joke. Can't take a joke, or a little girl can't take a joke. And this is what he's doing. And as the weeks go on, he was a he was a group fitness instructor. So as the weeks go on, he would have a line of people behind him going into the treadmill. Oh, they changed treadmills. Here was another. I, I'll get back to that later because now I'm in the middle of the story. But um, I'm gonna take a note to get back to that. So bear with me. Um, so line of people like, look at this piece of shit wearing the Giants hat. He's saying this in front of people. Look at this piece of shit wearing this Giants hat. Little fucking bitch can't take a joke. Kevin at Boynton Beach. I'm saying that because I'm going to send this to the manager of the Boynton Beach location. Um, and I'm going to take another note. Uh, so bear with me. See, I'm getting a little route. I'm getting, I'm feeling it. Oh, I agree. Um, look, and this is every week and so what he would start to do one of my things is I, I don't know why I really don't know like now it's become a habit is chances are I, I'm very private I don't always want to talk to people I don't know someone says hello thumbs up then it, it's when I said something to him, uh, to management, um, they told him to stop. And realizing that, that I would do that, and he's like, stop fucking doing that before I break your thumbs. I'm gonna break your fucking thumbs. Screaming this in the, in the gym. I'm gonna break your fucking hands off if you keep doing that to me. So now I know to do it more often as he's doing to me because of that um and every week look at this white motherfucker he, he, somebody kick his ass for me and I go just to piss him off and he's like I'm gonna fucking break it off I swear one of these days I'm gonna break it off and this goes on for three months four months something like that and so in the last month or two, um, he's telling people more and more to harass me. Somebody break his fucking thumbs off. I can't stand it. If I do it, I'm going to get fired. Somebody break his fucking thumbs off. And so this is every week. Nobody says a word. They let the members following him into the group fitness room are laughing. They are laughing because he's doing this. Instead of, you know, one of your employees is harassing a member, they're following and laughing and joining in other members. So, um, so in the couple, last couple of weeks, I don't remember the exact day, it was very recently. I'm on a treadmill, and I am going to get to their change of uh, their etiquette, aside from nobody wipes off their machines. Um, I'm on a treadmill. He's going towards the group fitness room. Hey, dick sucker. 
And I'm saying that I, I'm saying Kevin again because this is going to be sent to the manager of the location, Boynton Beach location of UFA. Hey, dick sucker. And I, I, I've had it. I've had it. I follow him in. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? You're screaming I'm a dick sucker? The fuck is wrong with you? And I, he's like, are you going to take my class or get the fuck out, you white piece of shit? This is what he says in a group of white women, mostly. I, I, if I said that, I like sarcastically, that's now how but. It's white women. Bear with me. Could kick this white motherfucker's ass. And I'm flipping out. And I I've had it. Um, so I go to go out to the front desk. I had just gotten there. I've been in the gym. I set up. I wipe off the treadmill before and after. And I had not even started the treadmill yet. I've been in the gym less than 10 minutes. So I'm getting... as I, I was just getting started on the treadmills. Just hitting start. And this happens. And as I'm running out, and I'm, I'm very shaken up. And as I'm running out to see... I had, honestly did not know if the manager was there at this point um turns out he wasn't and they said what happened was some one of the white women and as this as this the black trainer screaming let this get this white piece of shit out of here one of the white men, women goes to complain not about him but the fact that I'm screaming at him to cut the shit. The problem is not that he called me a dick sucker. It's that I'm telling him to cut the shit. They started screaming at the guy at the desk that I went in there and did that. The problem is not that he called me a dick sucker and he screamed for somebody to break my thumbs. It's that I went in there. The problem was that I, apparently that I went in there and said, cut the shit. What the fuck are you doing? Apparently that was the problem. Um, so one of the women went and complained. He had started complaining. Then I follow it up right behind her, apparently. Um, so what the guy at the desk said was, he's going to be here within an hour, and we'll have him call you. What's your phone number? And to be honest, I was shaken up. This has happened. I've had it. I went out to my car, took my stuff. I walked out quietly and calmly, and I got out to the car, and I started crying. This is how the, the employees treat their members. I started crying. Um, so as I get out to the car, I'm sitting in the car less than two less than two or three minutes, manager pulls up. I could not go back in. I was crying. Um, so he left a message. Now I don't remember what it says, but I go in and say, listen, we've got to talk about this. Well, the story we have is that you went in there for no reason and started screaming at him. He screamed out loud with a line of women and the a full row of treadmills. Hey, dick sucker. The story he heard was that I went in and started screaming at him. What the fuck is your problem? Um, so I being shaken up and knowing I'm going to get angry, but it has to be dealt with in the moment, I decided to follow up by email. I go on online, I look it up, I find the manager's email, and I send an email. Can you come in? I said, no, I've gone to the people at the front desk and no one does anything. It's obviously, I said, I want this in writing, I'm gonna send this to corporate. No, we'd rather you come in. I'm like, no, I want it. I paper trail, you know, or an email trail to send this to corporate. No, come in. I'm like, why? He can call me a dick sucker and scream somebody break his thumbs, but this can't, but your, your boss now can't find out that this is happening. You can do this, but you can't get the consequences of it. So I go in, we talk, they have a different trainer who happened to be there at the time I was there that it's at the time I go in as a witness against me. They want, so 
to find out what happened. Here's what the, the final results. Um, the result is you're causing trouble. We're going to cancel your membership. Excuse me, this employee of yours is screaming that he's going to break my thumbs. He, oh, and I left one out. I just realized that he is going to break my thumbs. He's going to whoop my ass. He's telling other people to break my thumbs. He's telling members to whoop my ass. Screaming that I am a dick sucker. So instead of, we're sorry, I wasn't like... I was at another gym, they said, like, oh, I'll give you a free month, whatever it is. It's, I was not looking for a free month, or free, you know, it was cut the shit. Instead of firing Kevin at the Boynton Beach location, they canceled my membership for causing trouble. They canceled my membership. And he still works there to do this to other people. I said with the other story, guy got out of his car, screaming at that I, how dare I wear a giant's hat in front of him. That's exactly what I did. I did it just to piss him off. This is what happened in Florida. I don't know if it's a Florida thing, but um, instead of firing the guy who's going to break my thumbs, whoop my ass, I am a dick sucker, tells other people to break my thumbs and whoop my ass. They canceled my membership. So, the two things that I wrote down... Um, okay, I got to, they canceled my membership. I'm sorry, I did not think of these when I was going to... When I started this video. Um, one of the other things. I don't know if... I, I'm not going to blame the location on this one. Um, but they changed... The treadmills. So, again, I don't know if that's location, choice. I don't know if that's choice of corporate office. Change the treadmills. To the point that there were... There, the treadmills they had before the change, there were now 11 of them. Um... And they replaced the other ones. Uh, so it was a pretty, it was a decent sized gym. So they must have gotten 25 to 30 new treadmills. And when you go into this gym, and I find it completely ridiculous as, now this is partially the gym and partially the members, the members that go in. There would be people waiting for these 11 treadmills instead of using the other 25 that they now ordered, the new ones. And people would be fighting for the treadmills. For these 11 treadmills. And that's one of the things, like, um, you know, there's, there's, I could have been the only, and it, had, it has, it did happen, hence why I would put my towel and keys on the next treadmill. Um, there's, I'm one per, I, and it did happen. I am one person, I could be the one person on one of, say there were 35 treadmills, let alone ellipticals, bicycles, stairmasters. I was one person on th uh, uh, one of 35 treadmills. And somebody taking the one right next to me. People would crowd up. And then complain that I put my stuff. I wanted social distancing between me and the next person. The problem is not that they took the next one that was supposed to be off with six feet. It's that I put my stuff on the next treadmill. Um, okay. This is all I can think of. And I'm getting a little heated. So... Uh, this will be getting to... Oh, oh, here's something also. I have contacted without... Without the knowledge of... I kept it... I didn't say anything right away. Um, the... Regional manager. So the, the general manager of the gym. I contacted, contacted his boss through LinkedIn. 
uh, was able to, it was, you know, his name was the gym, the loca individual location did it to himself. They had his name posted in the men's bathroom. bathroom. So, without the knowledge of the manager, I contacted the regional manager. I contacted his boss. But held it as, I didn't say anything. I'm like, okay, we'll discuss. But I then, I, after a couple of weeks, and said, listen, tough. You are now not responding. You canceled my membership because Kevin the trainer is break my thumbs, break my hands. Well, somebody kicks his ass. This guy is a piece of shit. And he's screaming, hey, dick sucker. So I have now contacted, uh, I'm going to say his name wrong, Jose McGinnis, McGinnis, uh, with no response. I had contacted him, did not tell the general manager, or tried to deal with him uh, head on, and now no response. So this is my review of UFIT, and I will see you in another video.